All right, so after a rather rough landing, because I forgot that telephones will somehow impact your uh, parachute, we get to the mission. Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. No, I don't have a car. Oh, nope, never mind. I think we're just heading over to Franklin. So that's why I don't remember picking up the last mission, because I remember driving the car, but I don't remember collecting the last car, because Lamar does it for us. Um... Which, in case you're wondering, doesn't go quite as, uh, as we planned. I think we got a phone call, right? We usually get a phone call, and I usually have to stop talking whenever we transition like that. I guess not. It's not gonna start talking about anything. I'm gonna get cut off by a phone call. I already know how this works, game. I'm gonna start rambling about how Lamar just somehow, like, joined our team thanks to Devin Weston. And then, you know, tries to go steal a car. I do like the fact that uh, Trevor doesn't have to drive over to the uh, the Packer. Because I do remember this mission. Or at least I remember the later half of this mission. Good job. That's a pull. Well, there is Lamar. Let's get that shit cracking, nigga! Apparently found the car and now we have to drive it. Oh, come on Lamar. He over at the usual place That bitch was pristine bitch <laughs> The boost homie, how'd it go? Any problems? You know me fool. Yeah, I do know you fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, uh -huh. like you uh -huh. and the old dude. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the carrier, homie. The final piece of the puzzle. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. Boss man's happy, then we'll get moving. And this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga, get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Pretty sure Trevor has to drive while Franklin just falls asleep or something. Let's get the truck. Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. So let's go to the drop off point. Hand over these, uh, some, these, uh, cars. I find it weird that the drop off point is hey, on a highway. Uh, on a freeway. Scoot you up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. Much. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. So yeah, like I said, Trevor gets to drive this. I remember they have like a really long conversation, so I don't hey, have man, to talk too much. Dude, it's great. Dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He like retired? From, from creeper. From everything. That's funny, cause like the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk through. <laughs> it's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? 
I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. As I crash. Yeah. <laughs> Bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. <laughs> I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. That is true. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with <laughs> Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fuck. Yeah! The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIV. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the dead. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. I don't think they're done talking. Lonely old Fuck. Road, <laughs> lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless. Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. Fuck that little car. <laughs> Truckers are a symbol of this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. And so is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Oh, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep <clears throat> innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, he'll say. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. That's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meet? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Then. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right! Fuck! I was running a small air freight outfit in North Yankton. Tiny operation. Oh, shit. What's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the JB700. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the name of the car. The Justin, uh, the Justin, the James Bond, the Blue Seven. I got it. Shit, we'll see. Got the reference. 
<laughs> so we have to drive carefully while Franklin has to crawl across the entire uh, packer. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it don't. <laughs> So now we gotta drive the, the JB, as they called it, the JB700. Um, and as he said, they, uh, they tripped it out. So we gotta use some James Bond type car mechanics. Oil slick. Uh, I think there's cattle. cow traps? I think that's what they're called. Um, spike traps. And like guns. Pretty sure they're called cow traps. Yeah, true. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that. <laughs> Pretty sure you wouldn't, but just in case you did, that was some Google. Thanks, Google. Shout out to Google. <laughs> Wish I was being sponsored by them. <laughs> Google paid me more money. Pay me any money, I should say. So, defend the truck from the cops. Left bumper is to fire the mounted, draw, uh, mounted gun. Uh, I can click in the left analog stick to drop spikes, which are pretty much caltrops. Um, which I do quite a bit, because it's actually pretty cool. Although they do have to show you all the cop cars getting uh, captured, not captured, but hit by the caltrops. Which is kind of annoying, because it's like, yeah, we, we understand, we know what caltrops looks like to you guys. I don't need to be shown every single time, because when they show you it, you can't actually move. So, which is why this guy got thrown, like, ten feet ahead. There's another cop car. I think that means we're done? If not, we're pretty close. Yeah, here's Molly. So that's all the cops are gone. Cops are gone. Hello. Hi, this Franklin. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're right here. The lawyer chicks up at the Procopio truck stop. We are literally right here, guys. It's fine. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel one. Get us paid. I think this is when the recording started getting uh, Just make sure it's choppy. Salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of? Head back to town. So where's our money? Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. <laughs> Damn. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his alpha fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. So yes, so. yes, that's exactly what they're saying. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. So, we got completely fucked over on this one, again. I, I feel like that's the entire, like, that's like every mission in the GTA world. But yeah, as you saw, the the footage was getting kind of choppy, so I had to restart the recording session. It's a little, little better. Uh, I got not a scratch, which was surprising. I got Shredder, I mean, didn't get the mission time, though. I wanted to go actually slower to hear all the conversations, because they had, they were starting to have a really cool conversation about how you first met Michael, and I cut him off. Because we were right there at the mission as I punch my mic. Um, what's our next mission to do? 
Do we have another mission? Oh, darts, okay. Am I really trying to go back to Dom's mission? Oh, just give it up. Give it a rest. Franklin! What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see, his phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Midwest. Shit, all right, homie. Okay. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Yeah, I'm not sure which, what state that's supposed to be. Northampton. I might be uh, North Colorado. 